Hey man, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. All right, so today I'm out in the uh, out in a kind of a chilly day, but I wanted to. I, I like this type of weather, um, and whether you want to take this as being kind of a bad and gloomy, or you want to take this as being a very nice, brisk day, these this type of weather kind of sums up what we're going to be talking about today, which are events. Are they good, or are they bad, or are they something completely different? Hello, man, and welcome to Relax Mail. All right, so today we're talking about an event, uh, different events that happen to our life, different events that we see ourselves in. These events, um, we often throw labels onto. We often even uh, blame these events for our whole emotional state. And in all reality, I'm going to let you know, events are nothing to blame. All right, they are just that. They are just an event that it happened. You can actually take and apply any label to those. Take uh, uh, events are all completely neutral. So take uh, 9/11 for one. For one, think back. If you were uh, if you were over the age of 20 years old, you know what? Uh, you may have a good or a vague recollection as to what. Uh, 9/11 was about what, how you felt. Where were you uh, when the when the towers were hit? Most people here in the U.S. would probably say 9/11 was a bad event. It was a terrible, horrible, no no good, awful uh, event to to experience. I, for one, feel that way. But that event actually has two different uh, two different sides because you look at the uh, at the the radicals over in the Middle East. They were jumping up and down and celebrating and saying that it was a great thing. It was an awesome thing. Um, look at uh, Pearl Harbor Day. Again, we thought it was a horrible, terrible thing. Japanese thought it was a great success. They got a lot of our a lot of our ships. Um, the uh, the events in our lives, all that they really do is they trigger thoughts. So if you are um, you go to a movie, uh, say. You go to see. You went and saw Star Wars: The Last Jedi. A lot of the, a lot of us uh, nerds stepped out of there, going, "Oh my God, that was a horrible movie." There are some people actually walked out there and goes, "Well, that was actually a really good movie." Movies show that you are in this. You and a friend can be in the same place at the same time, watching the exact same thing, and have two completely different reactions to it. And that is because the event of watching that movie depends on your on your thoughts, on on what thoughts that event triggered. So if you bring up, so you can experience anything you want and say it's a car crash, you can actually say, be in a horrible, terrible mood. Oh my gosh, you've done this, all this to me. And the, how could I, if this heart, car crash is one of the worst things that ever happened in my life. I have no more car. You could be as dramatic and over and overproduced as anything you want to be or you can actually take and change that whole line of thinking. Look at that event, put a completely different label on it, and and go from at a at a different angle completely. Now to be as vague as possible, because I'm just as vague. I don't know why I'm being vague today, huh? Each event that you come across is nothing more than a learning experience. You have a Say your child draw, takes a crayon and draws on the wall. All right. That could be a perfect rendition of the Mona Lisa. And most adults and most parents, are, especially if you're renting a house, are only going to be going, losing their mind going, oh my God, what are you doing? We've taken, we've lost our, uh, I've lost, we've lost our security deposit now. I mean, you're, you're thinking of all these horrible things, not stopping to look at, oh my gosh, that's a really great picture that you just drew. Events in our lives, like I said, are co completely contingent upon what our thoughts are. So you can look at different events and 
how you respond to those events depends on how what side of the uh, the whole positivity scale you want to take you can look at a res uh, look at an event and you can respond to it in a positive way or you can respond to it in a negative way either way is a response and you in it uh, that's what an event does it triggers a, a thought and that like I've mentioned before a thought creates an emotion an emotion creates a uh, an action an action cre creates uh, your results so if you want to be if you're uh, tired of completely say blowing up at your child because they are doing something that you don't like you have to change your thoughts on what that whole event means to you so if you're say they uh, for instances of boys because well anyhow boys when they're learning to potty train a lot of times when it's time to go it's time to go and nine I've more than once seen a boy way uh, in the middle of uh, in the middle of a parking lot or out in a park if they're outdoors they're gonna let it fly all right now you could you've got two ways of looking at that you could be uh, you could either take that as a negative thing and it's a blight upon your your uh, your whole uh, sense of being and and what the community is going to think of you and all that or you could just go well, well, congratulations you didn't pee his pants so you can look you can have an event mean multiple things you choose how you want that event to be you have a car crash like I mentioned you could either say oh my gosh that was terrible or I'm so glad that everybody's alive and I you I've if you mention that a lot of times people will say yeah yeah no I'm glad I'm glad no one's hurt but golly I'm no, and that just shows that you're not really with that whole line of thought it's yeah yeah you're right it's everyone's good and safe but I I'm more concerned about me so how do you change your whole thought process uh, when it comes to experiences and the different events that uh, that you have in in your life the first is stop if you realize you're just you're you've redlined or you're doing something that you don't want to do stop it just uh, you know get up move around get get yourself change the enough of the situation for that time moment so that you break that chain of, of, of thought then stop it, it we often recall I often call this doing a five by five take five minutes take and step five feet away and look at the situation he's drawing all over the place okay apparently he is an artist he wants to be an artist he has the desire innate ability and desire to to draw on stuff so maybe you find ways of being able to employ your your son's uh, desire to draw on the walls and put it onto a another uh, another medium ask yourself quality questions uh, you're, you're not gonna find anything out if you don't ask yourself these uh, certain sets of questions like uh, with after an event happens what did I learn from this event ask yourself that what did I learn from what no matter whether a a an event is good or bad it doesn't it has a lesson to that is there to teach you and if you just stop long enough to pay attention you'll actually see that that what that lesson is learn is when uh, when it comes to that particular event what could you have done different again another great question if there was how did I respond how could I have done how could I responded differently to that particular event? Uh, to that particular problem you have a result you have a, an answer to that ask yourself that your brain will let you know what you could have done differently and one of the best questions of all that you could actually ask is what does this event make possible just ask yourself that what does this make possible I my car is wrecked what does this make possible well <laughs> I was my car was uh, was not uh, it was it was on its last leg anyhow so that means that I now need to go ahead and it makes a a better car purchase possible it, now you can uh, cry but like well, I don't have the money for that well no one really does at the time but it is still a possibility you can take the positive side and look at it so 
take the events. Don't worry so much about the negative side of whatever the bad, quote unquote, bad event was. Take that event, learn from it, grow from it, and you'll actually be, find that you're a lot more grateful and a lot more happier about different events that happen in your life. So this is Brian with Relax Mail. Uh, it's trying to rain on me and so I'm going to get out of here. So if you like the video, please click like. If you really like this uh, channel, click the bell icon. Um, just want to let you know here real quick, uh, There also if you go to relaxmail.com, uh, here within the next, uh, here soon, you're going to start seeing that there are podcasts available. So you can get even more relaxed mail. So uh, click uh, the link down below to uh, relaxed mail website and uh, see all the glory that there is to be a, a male who is finally relaxed and at peace with who he is. I'm Brian. You take care. Talk to you later.